This will be the funnest video you watch all day. Documents. How could anyone be that irresponsible? It, isn't that what this president says about mishandling classified documents? The president spoke to this personally. He spoke to this personally. He, again, he believes that uh, classified documents and information should be taken seriously. He takes them seriously. And he was surprised it's, it's to learn by any, any records. Had been. I disagree. I disagree. Here's what happened. Here's what happened once then his... Justice Department? Well, let me, let me explain to you the process. Here's what happened when uh, his lawyers found out that the documents were there. They immediately turned them over uh, to the archives. But they were but there they in the first place. Turned them, turned them they, over to the archives. The right I'm not going to. I'm not out. going to go into specifics. But I'm going. I, what I'm reiterating to you is what you heard from the president yourself. So he takes this all very seriously, but he doesn't even know it's there. This lady's the worst press secretary in the history of the world. How can President Biden be trusted moving forward with America's secrets? Because his lawyers, his team did the right thing. But he had a closet with he, classified his information lawyers in did it the that right, they found. How did again, get there? again, again. Did the he did. He the was right surprised that the records were there. He spoke to this personally. He was surprised that the that the records were there. Undercut the president's promise of transparency that these documents were not revealed for several months after the White House discovered them. You know, so when his lawyers realized that these documents were there, they turned them over to the archives. They did the right thing. They turned them over. All I can say is what the president said yesterday, I would refer to his comments. But they did the right thing by once they learned of them, they turned it over. They turned it over to the archives. So you're the one here yeah, talking to us about this. That's why we're asking you. So let's just remember that. Ed, I'm. We don't need. We don't need to have this. We work very well together. We do. I don't. We don't need to have this kind of confrontation. Ask your question, and I will answer well, them the best the that reason, I can. Part of the reason we're laying that out is because you're laying out your part of the job. We're I know. Laying out our part of the job, I know, but I'm just saying that we don't need we to have contention. We, we don't need to be contentious with me here, Ed. The president was asked yesterday, but did not answer this part of the question. Why didn't he or someone in the White House inform the American people when these documents were discovered on November 2nd? Did it have anything to do, because people are asking this part of it, did it have anything to do with the fact that the election was just a few days away? Again, Ed, this is under review by the Department of Justice. It is literally under review right now. As, we are, as, we, as, I, as I am talking to you, it is under review. Justice, but there's another thing. There was nothing stopping the President of the United States from disclosing the discovery of these classified documents in his former office before it was under Justice Department review. What so I can tell you, what I can, what I can tell you right now is what the president is, is, is uh, share with you what the president said to all of you, right? Which is he was surprised by this. He definitely, truly respects uh, the process here. Uh, and also when it comes to classified, he takes classified documents very seriously. Best presser of all time. And I can tell you why they wanted to wait till it was under Justice Department review. So Merrick Garland could show up on Capitol Hill and say, I can't comment on it. It's an ongoing investigation. Neil Johnson with Lumberjack Logic. Thanks for listening. Peace out.